good morning all of you uh, this topic is very very important about coding versus aerospace engineering actually <clears throat> many of you may not be aware of a very serious situation what everyone is going to face when you will join your master degree mtech ms or uh, phd in india or abroad so first one line answer is coding is extremely important for aerospace engineers you may be thinking that uh, after completing your uh, uh, ug degree in aerospace or aeronautical or interdisciplinary programs you will be uh, going to join uh, some very popular industries like uh, isro drdo hal and blah blah will be in your mind this is one thing and you may have uh, idea that after completing your uh, ug degree after qualifying gate aerospace exam you may be going to join your master degree mtech or ms right so why coding is important let's understand in this way see here when you go for your master degree you will be having majorly two things either you will be doing your project uh, in uh, based on experimental data either your project will be based on experimental data so for example uh, i have uh, uh, currently i am working on a uh, Uh, on on a project uh, in that project we have to find out survival condition of a compressor run so <clears throat> that is one thing so what we are going to do we are actually doing some experiment and all uh, in our iit and uh, with that experiment uh, so experiment itself will take a lot of time because taking reading and so this is one thing so what are you going to do after having that reading so see here itself you will be getting idea why you should know the coding and i will focus uh, on a uh, few few things like you can uh, either learn matlab which is very very important if you are learning any any one thing like matlab python uh, c c++ of course is there but like people used to uh, so like what to learn matlab matlab or python so like out of these two you can choose and one thing logic used to be same in uh, any kind of coding only the architecture of coding will be different so that you can Uh, improve after learning any one type of coding so one line answer coding is important now see here why coding is important suppose i am collecting any data okay from my experiment so with that data i will draw some kind of graph so that where how will i draw the graph so that data i will put in kind of coding thing and what kind of coding i should do i should maintain that kind of coding where upcoming data should also fit or i can also apply ai or ml concept on that data so to predict my uh, this thing so <clears throat> idea is uh, one thing in your master degree either you will go for uh, experimental thing so there uh, this is how i explained why coding is important other another thing is you will choose uh, such kind of guide or professors where coding is like purely coding for example you may go to uh, cfd related things you may go for fvm fdm fa fea fem like that these kind of things you can, you may go right so they are pure coding uh now come to the job point of view actually in case of uh, jobs um uh, like i will not uh, say this in uh, like hype way but uh, like roughly i can say that 100% 100% i can say uh, if you if you don't know coding part coding part of your own work you may be working in in a propulsion department in a structure department wherever you are working for every department you have a particular software to support your work that is one thing knowing software is really different one thing okay in that software inbuilt things are there but other than that you whatever data you will be having either from your seniors work or your own work your own experimenter that data you are going to put ai ml if you want to do really very good in your master degree or uh, if you want to have a very good college for your phd in upcoming thing <clears throat> so overall you understood in in job suppose a company is coming uh, to a to a campus uh, to to hire a person for a particular thing so uh, now suppose three students are sitting one student is saying that i am good at experimental things and this was my project i have done this experiment and this was my output and one student is saying that yes uh, i had this uh, experiment and i have done this and this was my output and i know this particular coding and i know this particular software also 
but suppose at the same time if someone third person is saying that sir i have done my uh, project and uh, this project was uh, like output was this and this output i have uh, 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 verified validation is there right verified using this particular software and i also uh, i have also applied ai ml okay you can also say dl like whatever um, like so if you are also applying those things in your project or this thing so chances will increase you will get the job like that so that's why coding is really extremely important so now <clears throat> you may be thinking that which coding how to start where to start so guys it is actually a tough question because uh, every student is having different uh, background before joining their ug degree many students they have done very good uh, computer work in their 11 12th level itself they know kind of c c++ many students like in my case uh, i was not very good in coding and uh, like in my ug time also always i tried to avoid or somehow i tried to pass the exam for uh, our this thing uh, subject <clears throat> but here i see actually once you are going into mtech or ms or phd your main work like professor professor will be giving you this thing like okay you have to complete this so this is your project your work is clear now now what you have to do but to do that to support that coding is important coding is important means not that kind of deep coding like a coder like a hacker not that much i will tell you it will take 10 to 15 days to learn that level from zero to learn that level what is important for your work so no need to worry even if you are at zero after your uh, btech or uh, you may uh, some students may be watching this video in 11 10 12th class itself and they are planning to uh, become aerospace or nautical engineer or mechanical engineer or any kind of engineer so in their case also like you may have heard there is something called matlab and python and blah blah things so in any one thing you be at least your basics should be strong like you open your computer and at least you see what kind of screen you have me uh, user blah blah things you check at least you do some basic basic codings in that like how to add two numbers how to do matrix in that and how to draw graph of that how to use a given data convert into graph these things at least you be really good so that when you will uh, when you will come to that point uh, uh, in your life it will be helpful for you and again anything like if someone says that yes i know python or i know matlab uh, really a very like if some if a person has done too much so much about that then they will be knowing lot about that but not 100% because all the engineers are having at the last you are going to follow a very narrow reason in coding also like every time you have to do related things so related kind of coding only you are going to face okay uh, and same thing happens for a software also for example you may have heard about ansys in ansys if a person is um, if person belongs to like uh, thermal fluid these kind of uh, Uh, field said then then they will uh, opt for uh, uh, cfd in that or they will go for cfx in that like in my case uh, if i will work on compressor things then i will be learning cfx and blah blah things so i wanted to give this in a small information that without coding it will be very very difficult for you if you are thinking that you can take some uh, other way definitely some ways are there some theoretical ways are there but uh, if you see job opportunities because anyway if, uh, after your uh, ug or pg or phd you will be looking for the job so at one point in in your life definitely you will be having trouble because of coding so uh, some basic basic codings you can do and if you are uh, totally zero if you are having fear with that then do from any uh, youtube or from any sources you take some 10 days 20 days course and you complete that basic coding at least you should know that how to plot graph in like why i am saying plot uh, plotting graph because finally whatever data you will be calculating or you will be uh, gaining from your uh, sensors uh, during experiment those data you are going to plot on uh, between uh, two variations right so i hope uh, you are able to understand what i am conveying in broken words so thank you